Welcome back to Beloit, Kansas. Minneapolis Lions and the Beloit Trojans about five minutes away from the tip off of the boys action as we're here in Beloit as Minneapolis Lions and the Beloit Trojans getting ready to do battle. And uh, Dale, I think you've got a little bit of stats, a little bit of info for us, so I'll turn it over to you. All righty. Uh, as we saw in the girls game, two fairly evenly matched teams. That's going to be the same here on the boys side. The Beloit Trojans are five and three overall, three and one in the league. The Lions are seven and one overall with a three and one record. We're tied for second, so the Lions need to uh, win this to stay, stay on a good pace with the leading Republic County Buffaloes. Uh, the, lady, the Lions are ranked ninth in the state, the Kansas State Basketball Association. The Trojans are tenth. With three losses. Yeah. Wow. Well, they they lost last Tuesday. That was after the stats, the stats came out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, common opponents Clay Center early in the season. At Clay Center, they beat Clay Center by four. Last Tuesday, we beat them by five. They lost to Republic County by 24. We lost to Republic County by 11. They beat Southeast of Saline by four. We beat Southeast of Saline by four. Wow. They beat <laughs> Ellsworth by 21. We beat Ellsworth by 17. They've outscored their 40 opponents by 47 points. We've outscored them by 55. So two pretty close squads. Wow. Who have they lost to? They lost to Republic County. They lost last uh, Tuesday to Chapman. And uh, Concordia. Concordia. they lost to Concordia, yes. Okay. So two 4 A schools that they've lost to. Yep. yep. So. This is the 170th game in the series. Beloit leads it 95 to 74. At Beloit, they lead it 25 or 56 to 25. The last game uh, we played them, we beat them 40 to 33 at Substate Finals last year at Smith Center. Last time we won at Beloit was in uh, 2010, uh, meeting winning in the Substate, Substate Championship here at Beloit. Their leading scores this year are better and Butkey averaging in double figures. Better and Butkey. Better, I think, is a sophomore. Yeah. Maybe. <coughs> and we've got two Butkeys on this team. I'm not sure. Austin Butkey. Butkey. I'm, sorry. I'm sure it's the junior Austin Butkey. So. so. Beloit uh, in their, uh, will be in, of course, their home white. Minneapolis in their red. And, uh, They're a little taller than we are, as usual. That's nothing new. What do you mean, it? a little? <laughs> <laughs> They're they, always, they they've always got a little height. Six five, six foot, six two, six five, and six three. Could. If they didn't like that lineup, they could start uh, everyone over six three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they're pretty, they're deep too. They've got quite a few kids down there. I've got what I think are the top seven or eight getting ready to play, but I'm going to have to get a... I'll bet they play quite a few. You know, we thought that on the girls' side, though, Mike. Uh, and my uh, gir boy girls only went uh, seven deep. Uh, they only played two off the bench, and they are both freshmen. So, so I don't think that'll be the case for the boys, but uh, you never know. So. Well, you'll probably recognize the names. Bud Keith, Finney, Hesting, Vetter, Schamberg, Schamberg, Falls, True, Brady True, 6-4, and Brummer, and then uh, the Pestinger kid. You know, that's, yeah. those are eight names that uh, I remember from last year. They'll be tough to beat here on their no, home they court, that's they for will sure. Be. It will be tough tonight. It will be tough tonight. But just as we said that, Scott, you know, the girls uh, were in position to take home the victory and let one slip away. I hope the boys don't do that at the end here. But I think uh, a positive for us, uh, the way the referees were calling, fairly close ball game. You know, they they might have missed one or two yeah. here. They, they were calling it pretty bad. close. They did not I do thought that they did bad. a good job. They missed one at the end. That will so. be our advantage, I think. So 
we're tipping down towards uh, the introductions here, the national anthem first probably. And I would assume we're going to honor our colors, and then uh, Scott will have the introduction of the players. But they might flip that around on us. Yeah, they might, yeah. <coughs> we'll see. We'll see here in a second what they got here. Looks like they will have the starting run at first. So, uh, so for the Minneapolis Lions, number three, six foot two senior Andrew Yoxel. And for the Bloyd, number two, six foot five junior Austin Budke. I can see where he has probably been one of the leading scorers. For Minneapolis, number five. Five foot nine senior John Darrow, and for the Boy Trojans, a senior five foot nine Tanner Finney for Minneapolis. Number ten, six foot one senior Alex Johnson, and for the Boy Trojans, a six foot senior Josh Hesting for the Minneapolis Lions. Number thirty. Six foot one sophomore Alex Yoxel. And for the Boy Trojans, a six foot two sophomore Peyton Vetter. And he's one that uh, played well last year, if I remember right. For Minneapolis, number 32, six foot four senior Zach Allison. And for the Boy Trojans, number 35. Brummer. Brummer. Zach Brummer. He's been 65 very senior. Against us for several years. Yeah, about eight years now. <laughs> so, we will have our national anthem. Welcome back to Beloit, Kansas, as the prep band gets the national anthem. And we will have tonight's game here in just a few minutes as Minneapolis Lions and the Beloit Trojans getting ready to do battle here on Beloit home floor. Mike, Minneapolis is going to have a, a challenge tonight. Uh, it's always tough to come up here and play Beloit, uh, but they've got some size, and uh, they always seem to play well up here. And Minneapolis has done well, fairly well on the defensive glass. Uh, They'll have to do it here tonight for sure and box out and uh, position themselves and put a body on Brummer and Butke, uh, both 6'5". That Butke kid can jump. And he will jump center for the Trojans against Zach Allison. As we will have the tip here and it goes to Beloit and immediately goes to the outside to Hesting. Hesting gets it down low, gets it back out to Brummer. Gets down low and the turnover right back to the Minneapolis Lions. Nice stop there. Darrow down to Alex Shoxley. Alex looks down low. Gets it to Andrew. Andrew at the 
Top of the key, he'll take a little shot, up and no good, rebounded by Brummer. And he'll kick it back out to number three, Finney. Finney will bring it down for the Trojans. Back on the outside, goes to Vetter. Vetter, swing pass over to Finney. Finney back to Hesting. Hesting guarded by Alex Shoxel. He'll go back to Budke. Back to top key, Budke on the left wing. Looks down low, it's nothing. Swing pass over to Brummer. Swing back out to Finney. Back out inside to Budke. Shot up, no good, over the back, no call. And he gets the ball, wow. That's what I'm wondering too, Coach Sheep looking the same way. And Andrew Yoxel just gets mugged. Darrow for three, off the mark, rebounded by Zach Allison, up and good. Nice job, Zach Allison. That's a payback, I guess. Yes. <laughs> I missed the call down low, yeah, so. Yeah, he had an elbow in the back, so. like he did. Bucky like gets a foul, tied up at two. Zach Allison with a nice backside rebound. He'll go to the line for the end one. Well, Zach in good position right there, and need to keep him on that offensive board. Keep him in the game. Shot is up, and it's off the mark. Rebounded by Brummer. We're not going to get many offensive rebounds this way. No. Finney with the ball on the outside. Picks up his dribble, gets it back over to Vetter. Vetter, swing pass over to Finney. Finney looks down low, has nothing, gets it back to Budkey at the top of the key. Budkey guarded by Andrew Oxel. Gets it back to Hasting, Hesting. Brummer at the top of the key, guarded by Zach Allison. Hesting on the outside, back to Budkey. Swing pass over to Finney. Floyd patient on the offense with the good motions. Three-point shot up and off the mark. It's going to be rebounded by Beloit. Off the mark, it'll be, goes on the ground to Budkey. Oh, nice drop down pass. Oh, nice job. That's two on Budkey as he levels. I don't know who took the charge. Nice job by the Minneapolis Lions. Did you see who it was, guys? It was Alex Yoxel that took the charge, Budkey. Lowered that shoulder. You know, they take out one short guy and put in another one. <laughs> <laughs> so, coming in off the bench. Uh, I think that's Brady True for Bloyd. Nice drop down pass to Zach Allison. Can't get it. And over the back will be number 10, a veteran, as Alex Yoxel had position with the rebound. Tried to go down low to Zach Allison. Zach just a little bit too much power. Nice job by Alex Shoxel. Ball goes into Alex Johnson. Shot in the lane, off, no good. Rebounded by Brummer. Gets it back on the outside to Finney. Finney will bring it down, and he'll be fouled, I think, by Alex Johnson. Knotted up at two here, 5.38 in the first at the line. I believe is Peyton Vetter. Foul is on Andrew Yoxon. Shot is up and good by Vetter. Did you say Vetter and Budke, their leading scorer? Mm -hmm. Wow, sophomore to junior. Second shot, Kevin. Shot is up and it's good, makes them both. 4-2 lead by Bloyd, just underway here in Lloyd America, Trojan land. Andrew Yoxel with the ball on the outside. Swing pass over to Alex Johnson. Back over to Darrow at the top. Shot up and off the mark. Gonna be off of. Yeah, it was off the line. Yeah, it was. Would love to have had it, but it was off the line, so. 5-16, Beloit with the ball and the lead, 4-2. Drive in by Vetter and no good, but Brummer with a big rebound right there. There's a travel, no call. And the foul by the Lions as Finney hops, steps, and jumps in, no call. 
He'll go to the line to shoot two as he's fouled by the Lions. Number 10, Alex Johnson. Makes the first one as John Kelly and Josh Macy check in for the Lions for Zach Allison and Alex Johnson. Also checking in is Caleb Pauls for Beloit, as well as number 21, Alex Nemechek. So you're right, Mike, they do go further deep. Second one is up and good by Beloit as they've got the 6-2 lead here in the first quarter. Nice job by Darrow. Yeah, nice job. Darrow draws the foul as Nemechek, I believe. He gets his first foul, second uh, and a fourth team foul. Solid forearm in the back there. Andrew Oxlow to get it bound in. Josh Macy at the top, back to Andrew Oxlow. Back to Macy. Henry Oxel will roll the top of the key, swing pass over to Darrow, back to Macy, back to Alex Oxel. Gets it back to Kelly, and, and we turn it over. Oh, nice job, Andrew Oxel to come back. Josh Macy picks up the loose ball. Great hustle by Andrew Oxel. Josh Macy for three, it's short. Alex Oxel with the rebound, shot is up. Oh, he can't get it. Great muscle down low by Kelly. And they say it goes off his hands. John Kelly working hard down there against Brummer, but it goes off his hands. Boy, we'll bring it down. All in the hands of Finney. Bring it down for Beloit. Swing pass all the way over across. Uh, to Caleb Paul, Holland, Halen, Halen. Thank you. Sorry. Appreciate that, buddy. <clears throat> and the rebound by Beloit. They've Boy, got her out hustling. They us. are. Well, they are on the backside rebounds, especially. Yeah. So. Ball goes back on the outside. Swing pass over to Finney. Finney guarded by Andrew Yoxel. Shot up, no good. Rebound by Andrew Oxen. The Apples jumped into a zone there. It might be something we're going to see here from here on out. Nice job by Darrow as he drives all the way in. Tanner Finney with the foul. His first as Zach Allison and Alex Johnson check in for Darrow and Andrew Oxen. it into Alex, Alex Yoxel. Backward to Johnson. Ah. And the turnover. Josh Macy, wow, good hustle there by the Lions. Goes all the way back. Brummer with the three. Off the mark, rebounded by Johnson. Alex Johnson will bring it back down. We dodged a bullet right there, yes, guys. Did. They had numbers, and he just lost it off his hand. So Johnson on the outside. To... Alex Yoxel, Alex drives, shot up and good. Nice job, Alex Yoxel takes it all the way in with the left hand, then backs away to the right and finishes it six to four. Beloit with the lead. Sorely needed bucket right there. Alex got all the way in. Nice better, shot off a of glass. Better back to Palin, Palin with the ball. Picks up his dribble back to Brummer. Brummer on the outside. Gets it back to Palin, swing pass over to Vetter. Guarded there, gets across back to Nemechek on the outside they drop down low nice drop down pass and a nice finish by number 32 Brady True they can shoot over the top can't they Alex Shoxel drives back to Johnson for three at the top of the key in and out oh my goodness Kelly gets thrown out of the way but nice job by Alex Yoxel, yeah. Possession error to Minneapolis. We'll play it in. <laughs> Yoxel, <laughs> Alex is talking to coach about something. So 
Minneapolis has the ball with the possession. It's it into Macy. Foul. And a foul. Yep, Nima checks going to pick up number two. <coughs> Josh Macy did a great job of holding his feet on that, guys. Very close. Nima checks second personal. Checking back in for Blue will be Finney. That's the sixth team foul for Bloit, two on Minneapolis. Macy the inbounds. Ball goes back to Andrew Yoxel. Back in the hands of Darrow. Back to Macy. Back to Andrew Yoxel. Swing pass over to Johnson. Back to Darrow for a deep three. In and out. And rebounded by Better. Better can jump. Yeah, he can. Three point shot by Beloit the other direction, and it's off the mark. Johnson with the rebound. That was an air ball by Beloit. Neither team uh, shooting well shooting from very outside, well. Are we? Eight to four, Beloit with the lead. Johnson with the pass back to Darrow. Darrow looks for the screen. Back to Andrew Yoxel. Drives in, gets his man up in the air. Up and no good. And Zach Allison with a big rebound. Nice job by Zach. Gets back to Macy, back to Andrew. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Andrew Yoxel on the outside to set this one up. Lions trail by four. Zach Allison back to Yoxel. Andrew back to Macy. Macy with the ball. We'll roll around the outside. Back to Darrow. 30 seconds left. Darrow back to Johnson. One. Mace, uh, you want to uh, Andrew or Darrow to take the last shot. And Darrow has it with 15 seconds. So. Well, you're spread it out here. Yeah, we are. And we miss it. And they did it. Traveled. A, Jeez. Wow. No call on that. Beloit uh, throws one up from half court. We can't get the drive and the layup. We're down eight to four at the end of one. Wow, what a what a non-scoring event by both squads. Eight to four at the end of one. Beloit with the lead. We'll take a break. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel Two. The Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks which offer traditional accounts such as checking, savings, certificates of deposit, IRAs, and loans online banking but most important they're committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible member fdic equal housing lender the minneapolis junior senior high school lion backers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these lions games join us as we support student activities and the teachers of mjshs go lions we're with you all the way a Where new do little you go when you need groceries? Jeans IGA, of course. Jeans is proud to be a sponsor of Minneapolis Sports and hopes that you'll encourage your children to be as competitive in the classroom as they are in sports. Jeans IGA, a proud sponsor of today's game. Sorry, guys, in I Minneapolis just saw a little hardware. cheerleader down the way there. I got a chuckle out of her. She's cute. Got her outfit on. Never mind. That was Tyler and Bridget Crossan's little girl. Drop down pass, down low to Brummer. Uh, Zach Allison going to get called for the reach in. I think Zach thought he might have had a hand on that one and just can't quite hold on to it. They get the reach in foul. Boy will have the ball. Zach's first personal. We don't want him to pick up his second either. His time on the floor is valuable at 6-4 against these. Nice job, Zach. Tall Trojans. Yep. Working down low against... Brummer. Ball goes into Bud Key back. Three point shot by Beloit up and good by Peyton Vetter. He's wide open, guys. That was a wide open, easy set three pointer. Ball goes back to Johnson. Johnson on the outside. And a pass down low to Brummer, not to uh, out of Zach Allison's reach. And that should be off of Beloit. Oh. We're going to call it off of Minneapolis. Macy in for Alex Johnson. 
Good crowd on both the boys and the girls side here tonight. Ball goes back in the top to Finney for Beloit. Another three-pointer by Vetter. And he makes it. Well, he's getting a good ball screen, and the look is wide open. Ten-point lead for Beloit, 14 to four. Macy on the outside. Beloit with a tight man defense. Darrow swing pass over to Zach Allison. Down low to Alex Shoxel. Alex no foul. is mugged. No call. Gets it back to Bugkey for Beloit. I <laughs> think. I guess the referee thought Shoup was trying to call a timeout or something. I don't know. He is paying attention tonight. So. Bloit with the ball, the inbounds. They get it in the hands of Vetter. Swing pass to Brummer, back to Finney. Finney guarded by Darrow. And nice defense right there by Josh Macy. And he'll come back the other direction. Andrew Oxel. Andrew gets it to Alex. Alex in the lane, shot up, yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, he Not leaned his shoulder in and leveled his, lowered his shoulder and took it right into him. Offensive foul. His first personal, I believe. Fourth team foul. 14 to four, Beloit with the lead, 6-14 left to go here. We in sure could have used that bucket right there. Oh, could have. Sure. There's another foul there. Uh-huh. Josh Macy takes it, but instead they get the bucket to Budke, and Budke scores, and they've got the 16 to four lead. So, Minneapolis calls a 30 second timeout. We'll go ahead and take one with them. Beloit with the lead, 16 to four, 602 here in eight, eight zero run to start second quarter. For the second. There's always there when you need an appliance, paint, tools. Well, truthfully, the list just goes on and on and on. So the next time you need something, almost anything, go to Hometown Hardware Minneapolis. They probably got it. At Lambert Insurance, Kent Lambert can make shopping for insurance easy. With insurance plans changing all the time and costs increasing constantly, getting coverage you need at affordable rates can be a challenge. Let Lambert Insurance in Minneapolis help. Welcome back to Beloit. Andrew Yox will bring it down for the Lions, trailing by 12 right here. Minneapolis just has not been able to find any offense. Shot up and good by John Darrow. Nice job by J. Mike with the, with the running quick jumper. 16 to six, Finney with the ball for the Trojans. On the outside, picks up his dribble. Gets it back to, to uh, better, yeah. Young man here says Vetter can get up there and stuff the ball. He likes to get up and knock it down. Who's that? Oh, really? He, he was pretty close to it there. Josh Macy with the foul. Blake Budke's going to check back in for the Trojans as he comes in for true. Fifth team foul on Minneapolis. Floyd has six. Goes back in the hands on the outside to Finney. Nice job by Macy. Another steal by Josh Macy. Nice steal. Nice defense by the freshman. All goes back. Shot up and it's off the mark. It's and it should be off it. Oh my. Ah. That's a terrible call. Right off Bud or Vetter's. Or it's Budke, isn't it? Budke. Alex with a nice play on the ball. Bounce it right off Budke's leg and out of bounds and Beloit maintains possession somehow there. Goes back to the top, swing pass over to Brummer, drop down low and there's a, oh, come on. Alex Oxel steps in, only thing maybe he didn't give him room, I don't know, but they, you know, I thought he was set. They did not count the bucket. So, and that's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to put him in the in the bonus for the one-on-one. -on -one. Foul is on Alex Yoxel, his second. 
No, they're still just 16 fouls, so they're played in. That inbounds, easy, though. inbounds into Brummer, just, just like that. Call them both ways, guys. <laughs> That's all I ask. Alex Johnson on the outside. Into Zach Allison in the lane. Gets it back to Darrow. Darrow shot up, no good. He'll go to the line. Oh, one and one. Oh, one on the floor. You got to be kidding me. Interesting referee, isn't he? Yeah, Hesting with the foul. They're over the limit, so we are in the bonus. Darrow will get a one and one. Makes the first one. Nice job by J. Mike. 18 to 7. Minneapolis yeah, trying to get back within 10 here. And he makes them both. Finney with the ball for the Trojans. Lions trail by 10. Finney with the ball at the top of the key, guarded by Darrow. Swing pass over to Budkey. Budkey on the right hand side. Gets it back to Vetter at the top of the key. Minneapolis in the zone now. Swing pass back out to. Better back to Finney for three. That's off the mark. Rebounded by Kelly. Nice job, John Kelly. Crashing the board to get the rebound. Johnson into Zach Allison. Back to Johnson. Oh, Alex. Dribbled off his foot. Out of bounds. Macy getting ready to come back in for Alex. And also coming in is Nemechek for Heston. Eighteen to eight, Bloyd with the lead. Three forty-three left to go in the first half. Finney with the ball. Nice drop down pass to Budkey up and good. He gets an easy bucket down low as they go over top of him. Ball goes back on the outside. <laughs> Uh, Offensive push-off fell, I guess. Zach Allison, I think. No. Nope. Darrow. Darrow. All the stuff you can see going on down there is not called. Gee. Johnson came in for Kelly. Ball on the outside to Finney. Swing pass over to, to Vetter. Back to Nemechek. Back over to... Finney. Finney will drive. Gets it back to Budkey. Back to Brummer. Brummer back to Vetter. Oh, wow. Nice move by Peyton Vetter. We let him have that one. He goes right around him. Lloyd with a 14 point lead here, 22 to 8. Zach Allison in the paint. Back over to Macy. Macy back to Darrow. Johnson with the ball on the outside. Another near turnover right there. It'll stay with Minneapolis. Johnson not looking real good here in the first half. Struggling a little bit. Pollen checks in. They're calling it Pollen. Pollen. Gonna, yep. They're calling it Pollen. Sorry so. about that. Nope. Macy to inbounds for the Lions. Gets it into Andrew Yoxel. They scouted as well. They're watching Andrew, uh, Andrew, and J. Mike very closely. Back to Macy. Down low to Zach. Can't quite get it. And another turnover. They'll go back to Beloit. Guys, we're just not in sync tonight. 22 to 8. 2.15 left to go here in the first half. Lloyd with an easy commanding lead. And they've really just kind of controlled the boards. Brummer down low, great pass. And the foul by uh, Johnson. Johnson. But you look at the ball movement by Beloit, they're just outplaying us right now. Oh, yeah. 
Johnson picks up his second personal. Shot up and good by Vetter. He's gonna maybe see Gage Mortimer come in. Ah. He will. And he makes them both. First varsity experience for Gage Mortimer, I believe. Yeah, it is. He can't shoot. He's got a good, uh, nice shot. What's the score, guys? I can't see. Yeah, the score is 24 to 8. Sorry about that. I really don't want to give the score. <laughs> 24 to 8. Darrell will bring it down for the Lions. Rolls it back around. It's back out to Andrew Yoxel. Shot up and just off the mark. And out of bounds off Minneapolis. Mortimer had a good look. Yep. Rolled it across the rim. Got a nice soft shot. Checking in for the Trojans is Peyton Vetter again. He'll have to play big against Heston. Twenty-four eight. Bloyd Trojans are having their way here Second against quarter. Minneapolis. And the quick pass to Brummer, and he gets it. Ball goes back to Macy. Macy will drive. And he has it blocked, and rebound by, picked up by Beloit. Got in just a little too deep there. Double dribble. Finally. Checking in for Minneapolis is number 12, Colin Briggs, as he checks in for Macy. Minneapolis with the ball, Briggs on the outside. Gets it back to Mortimer. Picks up his dribble, gets it back to Briggs. Briggs will drive, gets it down to Zach Allison, and it'll be off of Brummer. I thought it went off Zach's foot, quite honestly. I did too. Got away with one there. Good entry pass there on the wing and thought it went off Zach's knee also. 26 to eight. Beloit with a, just a dominating second quarter here, guys. Scored four points in the first quarter and we scored four points in the second quarter. And we've got 54 seconds left. Andrew Yoxel on the outside, swing pass back to Darrow. Back to Mortimer, back to Briggs. Into Zach Allison. Nice job, Zach. Nice job, Zach Allison. And used his left hand even. Great little touch there on the side. Gets the bucket. 31 seconds left. Boy with the ball. Back on the outside to Brummer. And there's going to be a drop down foul right there as they go down low to, to True. And he will go to the line. They have just got some size. Oh, yeah, they're huge. Man. Foul's called on Andrew Yoxel. That's his second. True will shoot. Front rim. 26 to 10. Beloit with the lead. 23.3 seconds left to go here in the first half. Second shot is up and he makes it. So it goes into Briggs. Briggs will bring him down with 21 seconds. Back to Mortimer. Mortimer back to Briggs on the outside. Briggs on the right hand side. They look for Mortimer back to Darrow. 11 seconds. Seven seconds. Darrow will drive. Good yeah. night. No oh, fouls. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. Twice. Something to get away from Moy to have to. So at the incredible. end of the first half, 27 to 10, Beloit with an easy lead right here. Darrow both times, body got fouled. One maybe, the other one doubtful. But uh, at the half, Beloit with an easy 
17 point lead and they had a commanding second quarter guys. So we'll take a break. Beloit with the lead, 27-10 at the half. Welcome back to Beloit, Kansas. Scott Osherman, Dale Leach, Mike Perry, and uh, the Minneapolis Lions trail at the half, 27-10. Not a good first half of basketball from, uh, for Minneapolis, guys. Uh, first quarter, 8-4, uh, but Beloit come out on fire, 19 points in the second quarter. And uh, we, we just lacked a little bit on the defensive intensity. And then uh, we couldn't do anything on the offensive side. Scoring totals for Bloyd. Austin Buskey was six. Hesting played but didn't score. Peyton Vetter leads all scores with 12. He had two long threes. Two right in a row from the same spot on the floor. Brummer had four. Finney had two. Holland played but did not score. True had three. And Nemechek played Pretty good defense, picked up two fouls, but did not score. For Minneapolis scoring, Andrew Yoxel, no points. And that's part of our problem. Bloyd playing pretty good defense on him and Darrow. John Michael had four points. Alex Yoxel set the bench with foul trouble in the second quarter, had two. And Zach Allison for Minneapolis has four points. And that's the scoring. Well, I, I guess Three the players. positive in it, guys, is we scored more points in the second quarter than we did the first. <laughs> <laughs> that is a positive, Dale. But we didn't look good doing it. Uh, the guys need to uh, do a little better job on the defensive end. They're not giving Floyd enough fits. Uh, the calls will even up eventually. I think if we can get our this thing down to a single digit deficit here in the second half, I think Floyd's one of those teams that has a tendency to lose their composure. They always have, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and got if, a couple if we get them going on the yeah. going south, it could uh, snowball for us and get us right back into this game. They've got a couple hot heads that uh, can get pretty down pretty quick, and that's exactly the point right there, Mike. If we can if we can get into their heads and uh, and we can start hitting some offensive shots, then you know the. Uh, the Lions, uh, the Lions have a chance at any point to get back into this. We're just going to have to play, have to play solid defense and start chipping away. I did not take, I did not keep track of any turnovers in the first half, but we had too many. We had plenty. So, so, Minneapolis trails at the half, 27 to 10. We're about uh, 2:25 left to go before the start of the second half, and. Uh, I don't know what there is about the mentality of the people that live in this community, in this gymnasium, but those that are sitting from, not all of them, halfway and up, instead of walking over to the second aisle to come up and go into their seat, they have to come all the way up here and crawl in front of the camera. <laughs> To go to the second aisle and go halfway back down the aisle to get to their seats. <laughs> I don't know what there is about the mentality of people in Beloit, Kansas. Uh, exercise, Dale. But they want to the get plenty of exercise, so working up and down the steps is good exercise. Dale. Just amazing. We have 135 to go. Let's hear another word from our sponsors. We'll be right back. Tech.edu today. Welcome back to Beloit, Kansas. Dale Leach, Mike Perry, myself, Scott Oshman. I want to say a special thanks to Kenny Hendricks and Century Scorebooks uh, for the use of the scorebooks throughout the year. Thank you very much, Kenny Hendricks and Century Scorebooks. You can contact Kenny Hendricks at 785-392-0058 for all your scorebook needs. Kenny Hendricks, Century Scorebooks, Minneapolis, Kansas. Well, guys, uh, going to have to battle back into this. It's not going to come easy, but it's possible. And then the Lions are going to have to fight back into this and find a way to get some offense. Starting lineup stays the same for both squads. They get it in to the hands of Alex Johnson. Johnson the outside, drives. It's a back and down low to Andrew Yoxel. That's a little bit of tip. Johnson shot in the lane, up no good, and rebounded by Budke. Three on one. Oh, nice easy pass right there. 
Beloit starts out where they left off, and Minneapolis cannot find any offense so far. Zach Allison and another turnover and a foul. My guys, I don't know what it is. Uh, we played against bigger guys before. Played against bigger teams before. Not this year. Well, Not stronger and bigger. Okay. They I are stronger. They, are, sure. they are strong. They are strong. How these people got beat by 24 points? Rebel County, I don't know. Ball goes back on the outside. To better back to Budkey. He'll drive. Guarded tightly by Andrew Yoxel. Gets it back out to Finney. Finney back to Vetter. Back to Brummer. Deep shot. No good. Re Founded by Beloit. They're going to call it off Minneapolis, of course. <laughs> Which I think it was. 29 to 10. Beloit with the lead and the ball underneath their own bucket. Ball goes into Brummer. Back to Finney. Drop down pass, Budkey with it in the lane, shot up and no good. Rebounded by Alex Yoxel, good job Alex. Back to Darrow. Johnson on the outside, into Alex Yoxel. Into Zach Allison, oh. can't get it. Andrew Yoxel, there we go. Finally get some points by Andrew. His first points of the night. 29 to 12, blow with the lead. Benny drives, guarded by Darrow. Gets it back to Vetter. There you go, nice job by John Michael. And he gets the bucket, no foul on that. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Wow, nice job by Darrow to finish it. No call, he gets the bucket. Bloy with the ball. Kind of like K-State playing at Lawrence. And there's a, should be an offensive foul. But no, they're going to call it on Johnson. The vetter was going in throwing elbows all the way Zach in. Zach Allison. Third on Zach. Kelly will come in for Allison. John Kelly checks in. All goes in. Shot quickly up. No good. Rebounded by Darrow. Out to Johnson. Johnson drives into Alex Yoxel. No foul. Jeez, <laughs> Wow. Alex drives in, shot up, and he gets it. Nice job, Alex. They are just <laughs> 29 to 16. We've gotten we've gotten a little nice bit of run, run here. Right nice now. job by the Lions. A little bit of run here. 29 to 16. And Boyd calls a timeout. We'll take one with them. You're listening to SlimePost.com. It's fast, it's furious, and it's fun. It's Minneapolis Raceway. Minneapolis Raceway has brought you exciting races to central Kansas and will continue this tradition. This fast track will give you and your family some of the most exciting races ever seen. Races start this spring at Minneapolis Raceway, and they say, Go Lions! City Pharmacy has brought you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wall will help you get your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy, downtown Minneapolis. Welcome back to Beloit, Kansas. Well, we haven't had a lot to be excited about, but that 6-2 run right there, Scott, to open up the second half here, uh, there are signs of uh, kids wanting to play. Yeah, there are. Just down 13 now. Ball goes in the hands of Finney. Finney with it, gets it back on the outside to Hesting. Hesting back to Vetter. Back to Finney. Back to Brummer at the top, back to Budkey. Budkey, nothing, goes back the outside to Brummer. It's back to Finney. Nice drop down pass, there we go. A little turnover right there. Nice job by the Lions defense. Go in to Andrew Oxel. Okay, Andrew, step in and pop and hit a three for me, buddy. Alex Johnson back to Darrow. 
there on the outside. He looks at it, goes cross court. Goodness, Dang it. terrible pass. You've got two six five guys down on the low block, and he just cannot throw it nice across. Nice job, John Kelly, with a big rebound down amongst the trees. Did a great job. Alex Yoxel gets it. No! Oh, you got to be kidding me. Alex. <laughs> oh, not a good call. call. Shoot, shoot, just let the ref know. He didn't Man. Like we did. Was not set at all. And. And he didn't lower his shoulder. No, he did not. He did not. In Macy in for Johnson. Third on Alex Yoxel. Ball goes back on the outside. Back to Brummer. Brummer with the, guarded by Kelly. And pass out to Finney. Back to Vetter. Back to Brummer for a three. Rebounded by J Alex Yoxel. That'd nice job. Keep taking those all night long. Yeah. I don't care. Yep, that'd be fine. Great rebound by Alex Yoxel. Alex on the outside. Swing pass over to Josh Macy. We're not going to get Budkey. That'll be make free that on call. Budkey. Checking in will be for Beloit, number 32, True, and number 21, Nemechek. Twenty-nine sixteen. Get him. White stepped across the line. That bailed us out a little bit there. So I get a warning. <coughs> Darrow inbounds. Gets it into Alex Oxel. Can't get it, rebounded by Brummer for the Trojans. Boy will bring him back the other direction. And pass on the outside, gets it to Nemechek. Nemechek back to Finney. Back to True, back to Vetter. Back to Nemechek. Lloyd's moving the ball very well here. Brummer on the outside, let him take that. Vetter with the ball, back to Finney. Minneapolis defense is doing a pretty good job here, Mike. Good stop here would be big. And it should be off of Bloyd. Nice job by Minneapolis defense. And now we just need uh, need some offensive points here. Get back right here. Continue yeah. to claw back into this at the 305 in the third. 29 to 16, Bloyd with the lead. Yeah, Ali, it looks like we're just, we've got a few players that are just a little bit nervous about scoring. Macy with a nice shot right there. I was sure. just about ready to say Josh Macy, and he just gets the score for me. Nice job, Josh. 29 to 18. There's a nice defensive job right there, and the steal by Andrew Oxel. And he's going to get fouled. He will go to the line. Nice job, Andrew Oxel. And... John Darrow as the seniors team up together. Oh, intentional. Flagrant. Flagrant, yeah. I'll be darned. That means we get the ball after the free. Well, yeah, but they normally clear them away on that. First shot is up and it's short. Goodness. That must not have been a flagrant. No, yeah. it must not. And usually that means, mm -hmm. so. Second shot coming by, the senior is up and it's in and out. And it's not. Two big goose eggs there. <sighs> Uncharacteristic of Andrew on the free throw line. Two free throws there could have had us down to that single digit. Mark, I was talking about earlier. 
Nice job by Andrew Oxel. Minneapolis has it coming the other direction. Andrew at the top of the key. Back to Macy. Swing pass over to Kelly. Looks down low. Back to Macy. Back over to Andrew Yoxel. Giving Macy uh, an open look. He hit the last run. I think Josh is going to have to uh, step in and score. Be ready to take that shot. And it was in the turnover right there. Terrible pass. And that's the dunk that you've been talking about. Yeah, that was coming, didn't we? Bucky drives. And dunks it on us. Foul on Nemechek. Darrow will go to the line. Oh, they call it on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, it was way before the shot. 31-18. Floyd back up to a 13-point lead. Into Macy. Ball goes into Kelly. Kelly dry, looks at his man. Ah. Goodness. And the turnover as it's thrown out of bounds. Right. Out of the stretched arms of Andrew Andrew's Oxel. flat footed there. All back on the outside. Gets it in. Yes! Nice job, Alex Oxel. There we get one. And Alex steps in and takes it on better. Nice job, Alex. Alex was definitely set on that one. So Budke will come out for Beloit. Brummer comes back in. Andrew Oxel will bring him back down. 31 to 18. Macy, take that shot, Josh. You can make it. So can you, Darrow. Two open looks, and we do one extra pass and throw it away. So yeah. it's not working the way uh, it's supposed to, that's for sure. Kelly Patient is foul. one thing, but an open look tonight, yeah. you better take it. Kelly with the foul, 50.3 seconds left in the third quarter. 31-18, Beloit has the ball. Kelly gets his first mm -hmm. personal. Goes to Finney. Finney back to Budkey from the free throw line. Up and no good. Rebounded by Darrow. And he can't get the runner. Just too wild. Yeah, great. <laughs> too wild. <laughs> Don't have much positive to say. It's not pretty. Brummer on the outside. <clears throat> back in the hands of Pollen. 18 seconds left. Brummer back. Oh, come on. And Darrow's going to pick up a foul. You. Jesus. <laughs> 15 foul on Minneapolis. They'll play it in. Had a fan in front of us wanting to go with a flagrant foul. Oh, and I'm thinking, you got to be kidding me. So. Third personal, is it? Second on. Second, on, second on John Michael. Ball goes into the hands of Finney. Nice pass. Nice job, Andrew Yoxel. Uh, throws one from underneath the other basket. Uh, just not quite enough on it. That's the end of the third quarter. Minneapolis actually outscored him, though, in the third quarter. 31-18 the score as we head to the final stand. So we'll be right back here. Did. Our sponsors. If you're searching for the right insurance to fit your needs, look no further. American Family Insurance has been providing security and peace of mind for more than 80 years because they want to protect what matters most. Call Scott Osherman in Minneapolis, your American Family Insurance agent. CNR Plating would like to take this time to thank their many friends and customers for making their business what it is today. Kevin also wants to wish the Minneapolis Lions a great season. 
CNR Plating, happy to be a Minneapolis Lions backer. The State Bank of Delphus and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks which offer traditional accounts such as checking, savings, certificates of deposit, IRAs and loans, online banking. But most important, they're committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Well, Scott, we, uh, I do have a positive re to report. We were close to getting it down to single digits, but Minneapolis outscored Beloit that quarter, eight to four. So good defense by Minneapolis uh, that quarter. And Minneapolis can get right back in this thing. It's just a 13 point lead. Yeah, it, they can. They've got to keep the chipping it away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Zach's uh, smiling because he's going to get called with the foul, and it was a possession. Wow. That was a terrible call. By quarter, we have scored four points, six points, and eight points. This is like pulling teeth. Yeah. Bucky makes the free throw. He'll have another one coming. 7.46 to go in the ballgame, 32 to 18. Lloyd with the lead. Second one is no good. Rebounded by Zach Allison. Back to Andrew Yoxel. Now we need to keep Zach on the floor. He's playing with four personal fouls. Fair back to Johnson. Into Alex Yoxel. Nice job. Alex takes it in and makes it. Nice job by Alex Yoxel with the bucket. Defensive stop right here. Nice job there by the defense. Boy, it comes away with it, though. And they get the bucket. Get in Peyton Vetter, and he gets the bucket down low. Alex Johnson on the outside, back to Alex Yoxel. They look down low to Zach Allison. Into Zach, and he can't get it, but he'll get fouled. I believe that'll be four on Budkey. No, they call him on Drummer. Just his first, of course. <laughs> Zach at the line for two big shots here. First one is up and in and out. And another one coming in. Second shot is up and it's off the mark as well. Should be a travel. Yeah. Good call, Scott. Budke goes up and gets it, comes down, falls, and turns it over. Zach and you know, he really ball. didn't try to get back up. Yeah. He was just looking for somebody to Bell pass the ball the off to. Must be moving his feet. Alex Johnson shot up. No good. Oh. <laughs> We're just going to talk about it. Thank you very much. Finally, we get the officials to talk about it, and we get a call. Get a call. And the first ones we've had all night. Ball goes into Andrew Yox at the top of the key. Andrew drives. Shot in the lane, up and good. Nice job, Andrew Yoxel. 34 to 22. Lloyd with the ball and the lead. Back to Brummer. Swing pass over to Finney. Finney. Back to Brummer. Back to Finney. Excuse me, Hesting. I apologize. Finney with the ball right now. Six minutes left in this contest. Minneapolis just down 12. 34-22. Johnson with the foul. One and one for Bremer. Seventh team foul on Minneapolis. Beloit has five fouls. 
Excuse me, that foul's on Zach Allison. Oh, no. Yeah, he just fouled out. Excuse me. I missed that. Wow. I thought it was on Johnson also. I did too. Apparently the referees can't agree who was on. One and one. It should have been one and one anyway. So it should be our ball. The one and one, he missed the first shot? Yeah, he missed the first shot. So we're going to let him shoot again? So possession? No way. Oh, well, we screwed up, so we're going to let him do it again. Exactly. That's Amazing. ridiculous. I can't believe Shoup's not just livid about this. We didn't call it right, so he gets another shot. Oh, well, at least they didn't give me. Yeah, they are going to give you two shots. <laughs> Good grief. I've never seen uh, I've, never seen, I've that. never seen that happen before. I screw up, so I'm going to give him, after he misses the first one, I'm going to give him another chance at a one-on-one. -on -one. And he makes them both. Uh, these, these guys are a special set. 36 to 22, Bloyd with the lead. 5.50 left to go in the ballgame. Andrew Oxel brings it down, back to Johnson, back to Kelly. Good grief, where's he throwing it to? Uh, <laughs> it was better. And nobody there. Ball goes to Brummer, back to Vetter. Oh, nice, oh, why many sakes. Of course, I couldn't see it from the front side, but it looked like he had a clean block from the back. The bad thing, he's got beat back door and yeah, yeah. tried to make it up, but couldn't. And he makes the first one. Checking in is Macy and Mortimer. Had some good freshman play tonight. It's exciting to see. Mortimer getting his first varsity time tonight. Macy and Kelly have gotten quite a bit throughout the year, so. And he makes them both. Mortimer has actually worked his way up to the varsity level. Yep. So. Josh Macy with the ball, bring it down for the Lions. Mortimer on the outside, back to Darrow. Into Kelly. And that outlet pass at Kelly's has been uh, tipped numerous times, he's going to have to use that bounce pass. And that's exactly what Coach Shoup is instructing him to do. Bring it in, gets it to Alex Yoxel, back to Darrow. Same pass over to Mortimer. Into Alex Yoxel, up and good. Nice job by Alex. A little baby hook on the end, a little, not a baby hook, but just a little shot on the inside. 38-34. Alex Shoxel has been the positive here tonight. That's for sure. He's been solid on both ends. Brummer shuffles the feet, and we get a turnover. That's 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 who I expect to rattle. Over the years, he's been one that you can rattle a little bit. And uh, so. 38-24 score. But he's been one that has. Um, He's gotten, he's not as uh, rattled as what he has in the past. He's done better as he's matured. So Mortimer on the outside. Pop it. Ah. Alex Shoxel shot up and no good. Budkey with the rebound. 6-5 Budkey over the top. Rebounds well. 
better on the outside, guarded by Macy. 38-24. Back to Budkey. Budkey on the outside. Budkey picks up his dribble, gets it back to Nemechek. Nemechek. Swing pass on the outside, drives. And Brummer gets the bucket. And then gets cocky all the way down the floor. Yeah, I'm glad you can maybe make a two-foot shot there, Brummer. All goes from Mortimer back to Macy. Back to Darrow. Back to Alex Oxel. Back to Macy. Back to Alex. Shot, and eh, he's gonna walk with it. Oh, good. Brummer with a push. Sixth team foul on Beloit. Alex go to the line. Colin Briggs coming in, but he's coming in for a shoot. Oh, no. That wasn't shooting? Amazing. Briggs comes in for Macy. Sixth team foul for Beloit. Sure looked like he was shooting to me. And off balance shot by Briggs, no good. I'd Passed rather see him three. just take that three yeah, right off two. the bat, the open look. We need some points. 30 or 40 to 24, back to a 16 point lead for Bloy. Briggs with the foul. Nice a little block by Alex Oxel there, but it's no good. Fouls on the fouls beforehand. Better at the line for one on one. AC comes back in for Colin. Shot is up and it's good by Vetter. 41 to 24. We were fighting back into this and we're just kind of backing away now. Second shot is up and good. Ball goes back to Mortimer, back to Macy. Back to Alex Shoxel. Back to Macy, up and, oh, oh my. Wow. Well, you no, know you're not having a good night when we can't even get the layup on the backside. Now you can see why Rummer was proud of that short shot. <laughs> uh, and of course, a foul. If that's on Yoxel, I think he's yep. he's done. I don't know. Only his fourth. Free throw, no good. And another one coming. 42 to 24. Bloit in control of this one. <coughs> Second shot coming. Off the mark. And of course, Alex Yoxel. Hats off to Alex. He did a great job of going up for that one. Budkey just got the benefit of a loose wall. Uh, nice job by Alex. Ball goes back to Darrow. Back to Mortimer, shot up and no good. A little flat-footed on that shot. And Alex Shoxel with the steal. It went off the bottom of the backboard, I think, that pass. Yes, it did. Goes back to Macy. Take it, Josh. And there was a foul on Mortimer, no call. And we do get to go to the line, though. So, better with the foul. Mortimer's shot attempt was blocked. 
possible foul. Andrew Yarkson got the rebound. Was fouled on a shot attempt. And they put in some. They clear their bench. So. Is up and Goodness. he's not into it tonight. No, he's had a rough night tonight. 0 for 3 from the free throw line. Oh, yes, should be off a of white. Nice job. Did they give it to one? No. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, nice job, Andrew. I thought I thought Andrew had tipped it back in off a of white. He nice did. job. Must have had his foot on the line. Must have. Connor Nace checks in from Minneapolis. Andrew will have a seat. All goes back on the outside to Pestinger, a senior. And picked up by Beloit. As Pollen. Timeout. We'll call timeout. So. Uh, so 44 to 24. It's minute not left. a night to remember. No, it's not. It's one of our worst performances I've seen in a long time by our guys. Well, you got to hand it to Floyd. Their talent and their height that has uh, been a good combination against us. Yep. And uh, some questionable calls. Yeah, but not enough to make up the difference. Lloyd will have the ball here, a minute left. On a tough night to broadcast there, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Swing pass. Ball goes down. To, oh, oh, there's Mike a walk. Oh, my gosh, you got to be kidding me. He throws an elbow to get room. Of course, the referee was behind the action. Yeah, he was still walking down there, so. Fifty-four seconds left. Darrow will bring it down. And Darrow will go to line. Fouls on twenty-one Nemechek. No, thirty-one, excuse me. That is freshman Solano, Juan Solano. Darrow makes his first one. So is Alex High Point man for us? He's a Solano guy. He's a freshman. Isn't oh. that Paulin? Oh, that, yeah, I bet you're right. Sam Pauls. Pauls. I'm sorry. Uh, they have two 31s here. So. Yes, they do. 37 seconds left. So, Minneapolis will have and retain possession. Darrow <laughs> drives to the basket, gets the ball stripped away from him. No foul. 44-26. Chance to cut it to within 16. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh. oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, that is just pathetic. Boy, that was a, he threw that elbow. There you go. You missed the first one. You finally get that one. I've been doing it ever since I've been in here, Rip. Why yeah. are you calling it now? Oh, geez, okay. Nice job, Connor Nace. Yeah, fight down there if you're not careful. Nace won't take much of it. Darrow with the deep three. And off the mark, rebounded by. Uh, Hunter Post. Alex Yoxel takes it. And you will get fouled as he goes in, but no call. That's the ball game, 44 to 26. Another uh, true 
Beloit. I just hate coming up here. The fans are terrible. And uh, the rest are usually, the rest terrible. Are usually <laughs> terrible. They weren't they weren't bad tonight. So. Oh. <laughs> I've seen what worse up here. You I've seen worse. <laughs> I've seen a lot worse up here. So Well, happy homecoming to the Beloit yeah. Trojans. Yeah. Lions take two on the chin tonight, girls and the boys. They go to Heston, uh, Hoisington next week, next Monday. Start the winter jam as the number one seeds. Uh, the girls take on Otis Bison at 3 o'clock. The boys take on Russell at following that at uh, 445 or something like that. You can listen to it live here on Eagle Communications Channel 2 and SalinaPost.com. I wonder what this piglet is down here. Oh, it's a sheep. I don't know what it is. Anyway, we'll hear a word from our sponsors and uh, be back with some stats. Got some point totals here for you. Minneapolis scoring. Uh, Andrew Yoxel had four points. John Darrow had seven. Alex Yoxel had eight. He led Minneapolis in scoring tonight. Zach Allison had four, and Josh Macy had two. Rounds out the scoring for Minneapolis. For Beloit, Austin Budke had 11. Hesting had two. Peyton Vetter leads all scorers tonight with 18. Finney had two. Brummer had eight. And True had three points. Not a lot of scoring tonight. Uh, more defense than anything. Beloit, uh, pretty good job. Their game plan, I, you could tell, was to limit Andrew Yoxel's point totals and John Michael Darrow's point totals because there's no one else that scores on this team at the clip that those two do. And the defense was uh, designed to stop those two and they did a nice job of it tonight. Yes, it uh, seems like it's a little lopsided with the calls up here and uh, it's consistently that way every year. And I agree with you, it is that way, but uh, you got to fight through it yeah, you and do. you got to keep playing. It's not the difference in the game. No. Not in this, not, not tonight. No. Not tonight. We just did not. It just doesn't help. No. <laughs> doesn't, no. Tonight <laughs> it was Bloy's defense on Yoxel and Darrow that uh, turned, the, uh, turned the game around for them. Minneapolis got within 11. And I thought uh, if we could get it single digits, uh, we could get a little momentum back on our side, but we just couldn't quite get over the hump. Couldn't get a three ball, couldn't get an open look. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's been a long time since we haven't scored a three ball. Yeah. 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 Not even a decent real look a couple times, so. Well, we had a, co a couple of open looks, but the guys weren't Wouldn't ready to crank them yeah. up. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's young players. Um, you know, uh, Mortimer, uh, his first varsity action tonight had a couple of looks, and backed away at Josh Macy. Uh, Josh has taken some threes in the past. He's uh, hit a couple. He's cu hit a couple, but he didn't didn't take one tonight. And so, Not a good outing, uh, but as we mentioned, coming up here, we all talked about it. This place is not an easy place to play. It's a big jam. And uh, the crowd here and uh, the home team always wants every call, and they try to get it. But uh, for the most part, Minneapolis fought hard, but uh, Beloit just a little bit stronger, taller, quicker, and out hustled us actually in the first half. Yeah. But we came out and played a little better in the second half. Outscored them in the third quarter. We did. But uh, Beloit got back on track in the fourth quarter and outscored us six points. So not a big uh, high scoring game uh, when uh, the winning team is just in the 40s. Not at all. But uh, no one in uh, double figures for Minneapolis, and uh, Alex Yoxel led Minneapolis in scoring with eight. So, yeah, the offensive output is what we're not used to, but we're also not used to the defense that Beloit put on us here tonight. It just they was had, a little overwhelming. They, they had some tough defense. They, they yep. really did. They really did. So, well, I don't know if we're going to have Coach Shoop or not. I say we go ahead and just. Yeah. Yep. The Lions fall to 7 2, remember? Tournament week next week at Hoisington, mid winter jam for guys and the gals. Monday starting out, the girls against Otis Bison, the boys against Russell. Number one seeds, both of them. And we hope we can get to the championship game on Saturday. 
With that, thanks for listening to the Source for Lion Sports uh, in Minneapolis on Eagle Communications Channel 2, live audio, and SalinaPost.com. Thanks for tuning us in. Video replay on Channel 20. Thanks for being with us as always. Good have night. us in your home. Good night. Dale Leach. Scott Osherman. And Mike Perry. Good night, everybody.